Every now and then I search YouTube looking for real guides on how to use Link, but it still hasn't happened. It would be nice to just see someone use it for 20 plus minutes while describing what they're doing. If you've ever had a question like Sono2, or however you pronounce this name, you're in luck because in this video, I'm gonna go through exactly how I use Link for learning languages. If you've never heard of Link, it's an online platform for learning languages just by reading. And honestly, right now, it is my favorite app for learning languages. If you're still confused or if there's still something you want to know, leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it as soon as I can. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys uh, Link using German. I'm gonna choose her right there. And only because German is a language that I have not, oops, <clears throat> German is a language that I have not yet learned at all using Link uh, or any other method really. Um, so this is gonna be able to show you guys exactly what Link is like from the very beginning. And so we're just gonna do this really briefly. We're gonna go to guided courses. All right, um, I don't know anything in German, so we're just gonna start right here, I guess, getting started. Um, we'll use, we'll start the first one. All right, so we're in a lesson now. Maybe I should go back a little bit. <clears throat> These are different courses that you can use um, if you're gonna learn German using Link. And in each course, there's various lessons. And then when you decide which lesson you wanna use, you just click on it and it'll bring us to it. All right, there. So you see now, all the words here are highlighted in blue. That's because I don't know any words in German. Uh, after I learn a few words, Link is actually going to save those words, and then these words here will not show up as blue. So for example, um, well, I don't know any of these, so I don't even know where to start. Okay, here's a word that I see show up a few times. We. V. V. Okay, you can even listen to it here. V. 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 All right, so apparently it means how. All right, uh, I haven't actually learned this word yet. I haven't memorized it, I haven't internalized it, but we're gonna say that I have. V. All right, so now you see, I clicked on this word here and it saved it so that now Link understands I know this word and it's shown here, highlighted. Actually, I take it back, I, I'm sorry, I, I haven't learned the word, it's saved it as a link. It's essentially um, saved as a word that I'm learning and that's why it's highlighted in yellow. Now, um, every time I click on this word, it's gonna show this little thing right here. It's gonna give me a translation. Uh, it's gonna give me options for looking up other translations. And it's gonna have, down here, it's gonna show uh, the level that I've understood this word at. So, um, this is my first time uh, seeing this word. So it's a number one. And you can move up the levels. And as you do, it'll go from being more yellow slightly less yellow to just underlined and then the check mark means it's a known word so there and i got a point because i learned one word all right um let's see what else can we do here is. we can learn the word is, is. all right uh C. Z. 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 okay see that must be a really popular word in german um and then once i learn it oops let me click there Z. once i learn it Every instance of that word is now learned. Now, what happens when you turn the page? All right, well, I guess this lesson was only one page. Um, and so I learned a whole bunch of words. Let's go back to the, that page again. All right, this lesson was only one page. So when I turned the page, I, I finished the lesson. But let's go back to that page. Now, literally every single word on here is considered to be known. I learned it except for the one word that I created a link for, that's still saved as a word that I'm learning. Uh, and I can upgrade that and set that one to be known as well. All right, now you can also, you see that it highlights in gray a, a phrase. You can, um, you can set whole phrases as links, okay? So uh, let's say I just wanna learn what this set of words right here means. Okay, or I want to learn what the whole thing means. 
Okay, you can uh, you can set different lengths for uh, different numbers of words. All right, and that's quite useful. Um, all right, so that is what it's like when your brand brands new to a language. Now, of course, I don't actually know all these words, so let's go through and change some of these from known to being a link. All right, so how do they say this? Möchten. All right. Uh, I don't actually know this word, but apparently it means want, so I'm going to change it to a link. All right, uh, we're going to set that to one because I don't know it at all. C, we already C. went over, so we're going to say that I know that to a level two. All right, uh, v, v, we're going to say I know that to a level two, and kein, keine, keine. We're going to say I know this, it means no, apparently. I thought keine. that was nine, but I don't know that at all, so we're going to set it to level one. Um, ist, I think it means is. Am I right? Ist. Is. Okay. I don't speak German. That just happens to be one of the words in German that I know. We're going to set that as a link, ist. but I already kind of knew that word, so we're going to change it to a four. All right. Now what we're going to do is go back to vocabulary and... Let's see. It's not good. There we go. All right, so now we have here all the words that we're working on learning. All right, then we're going to go to uh, réviser. I have my iPad set to French. Uh, we're going to go to basically check our, our knowledge, test ourselves. And it gives you little uh, flashcards. I have mine set to actually give you the answer with the picture, with uh, when, the, when the word comes up, just because... I'm not actually interested in using this to test myself real hard. I just wanted to use it as just like a, a just a quick reminder, a quick refresher that I don't need to put a whole lot of effort in and then I can get right back to reading. All right, and then you click whether you knew it or not. V, all right, that was easy. Ist, that was easy. Z, yeah, and then you go through and then you can say machten. Okay, I don't actually know that word that well. Uh, and then you just go through several times. You can, also, you can also set this to come up um, while you're in the process of reading. So let's go to something in here. Let's see, is this more than one page? No, I gotta go to one that's more than one page. Uh, we'll do this one. All right, this one has three pages in the lesson. So um, we'll say I'm gonna learn uh, this word Okay, I'm gonna learn this Müde. word. Tired. Müde. I'm gonna learn this Gute. word. Okay. Gute. Now, I let's say I've read the whole page and all the words that are still in blue, I understand. When I turn the page, it's gonna set those to known. And also, if I hit this little green arrow here, it's gonna show me flashcards of the words that I just learned on that page as a quick refresher. All right, so. Uh, we're gonna go through that one. Kute. All right, we'll say yeah, I know that one. And then V. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't remember it super well, um, so we're gonna say uh, show it to me again. And then this one, we'll say I didn't remember super well. And then it gives you to the next page as soon as you're done um, with your little quizzes from the previous page. And then you just keep going through, and every time you turn the page, it remembers all of the words that were blue. Now you notice, the first page that I was on um, while learning German, every single word was blue. And now as we go further and further, they're becoming more and more white, uh, and I'm also getting more yellow ones, which are the links that I'm learning. And we can go back to, uh, let's see. Rather than learning German, we're going to go to French, which is a language that I'm actually learning. Um, let's see, we'll go to Le Tartif, which is a book that I'm reading in French right now uh, for my one of my French classes. And um, this is a pretty old book. It's kind of, it's a little more intense. Um, so you can see there's still a bunch of words in here that uh, I'm still learning. Um, either I... I, I might already know them, but I haven't yet encountered them in Link. So Link obviously doesn't know that I know the word until after I've encountered it in Link. So for example, here the word pareil means same. Pareil. I already know that. Oops, so I don't need a Link. I'm just going to set it to known. 
Um, what else do we have? Uh, tribulation. Tribulation. I know that word. We're just going to go click on I know this word. Sorry, I guess I should have set my <laughs> iPad to, to English before doing this video, but whatever. I'm pretty sure you get the point. Uh, it's I know this word. And then this one is ignore. Um, then if I want to test myself while reading the book, I can just click on this little arrow again. Go through a few times. Neont. It'll go through a few of these and then it'll bring me to the next page and every word that was just blue on this page is now white. Okay, so um, it's really useful for getting a lot of exposure to vocabulary, especially if you um, want to read, if you want to learn languages via the input method. Um, you're going to get a lot of input and it's so much easier to read on link because you always have the dictionary Spirituality. right there. Sorry, if it was speaking over me. You always have the dictionary right there when you encounter a new word that you want to learn. So super useful. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, let's see. I have a ton of flashcards that I'm learning in French. Um, because I honestly don't really use the, the link um, spaced repetition system very often. I prefer to use Memrise or Anki. Um, and you're also just going to encounter a ton of words. If you're reading more advanced texts, you're just going to encounter a ton of words that you don't actually need to spend time memorizing. Um, but that's okay. Really, the point of using Link is not the spaced repetition system. It's uh, being able to read a whole bunch of material quickly, easily, with definitions right there, uh, getting just a lot of input. And that is Link in a Nutshell. If you still have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. I would love to answer them. And if not, we'll see you guys in the next video.